All right, all right. As you know, we are at the retreat. We are having an amazing time. Here the ladies in the back. So thanks so much for joining. I think Trail's trying to get some music so we can get roll call for a minute or two as people ping in. So it's kind of spontaneous. Absolutely. Just wanted to share because we are just getting so much out this session this morning. So if you would, go ahead and invite your friends. If you have friends um, that you know may have been dealing with any type of fears or maybe something they need to let go from their past. Hi. Hey there, so glad you're joining. So if anything I say today resonate with you, I encourage you to, to aggressively tap your screen and share some love. <laughs> That's one thing I learned about Periscope. Uh, see, Trail is logged on as well. She's here with me. So we're just going to give a couple of tips about how to let go, how to break through fears, and also talking about forgiveness. So hey there, so glad you joined. Uh, <laughs> Demetria, I found you out, finally. So let me know where you are, are scoping in from. Where are you scoping in from? And also, like I said, I'm, when we go into this, and you can almost see my little chart behind me, and I'm going to show it to you on my screen in just one second. So talking a little bit about fears, because I know one thing, fear is one of the things that can hold you back. One thing I know is that fear and faith cannot coexist. So I'm telling you guys this on the scope, but I'm also telling the ladies here as we're wrapping up this session, I want them to know that fear and faith does not have the same zip code. Right. They don't have the same Ooh, address. Really? They do not reside on the same block. So if, when you're operating as a person with, in faith, we are not going to operate in fear because fear is nothing but false evidence appearing real. So, hey, is, is false evidence appearing real? So, one thing I know to be true is that fear kind of spears from five core things. And I'm going to just show you uh, my computer here. I think I, I just saw it. That it was, where is it? Oops, I need my screen. No, I know. I, I got it on this computer. Okay, maybe it went away. So, hold on. I think I just deleted it. So, here we go. Mm -hmm. You see it, Terrell? No, not yet. There it is. Can you guys see that? So it's five things that it cause comes from. It comes from, you know, maybe an abusive experience that you had that can cause you to have some type of fear. So also maybe doubt. If you um, and have some kind of doubt or uncertainty about what's going to happen next, that'll cause fear. Worrying about the outcome of a situation will cause fear. I'm trying to get it here. Okay, and then rejection. If you've experienced rejection in your past, that makes you may have some fears around that happening again or you feeling rejected again. And then abandonment. If you've ever experienced abandonment, that will make you have fear. Let me just tell a couple of examples that how that can apply. So if you've been abused as a child by someone, then you may have some issues with, you know, trusting someone and getting close with someone because you fear that you will be abused or hurt again. Or, you know, if you've been in relationships like um, my story, you know, when I first, um, was as a young girl, uh, when I first got into a relationship, I got into this relationship and a guy kept constantly telling me that if, if I loved him, that I would make love to him. So I ended up doing that. And then <laughs> I found out like that same day or the next day that he was just playing games with me. So for a long time, I felt rejected. I felt like I did all of this to be accepted by him. And then I ended up being rejected by him. So it just, it, it just was hurting. If anything this resonates with you, tap your screen up. If you want somebody else to listen in on this session about the fear and forgiveness, swipe your screen so your followers can ping in and invite your followers. It is a share broadcast. You can just hit share on Twitter and on Periscope to your followers. But that's one thing I know, I know to be true. Like that, that it, because of my past experience, it made me fear that coming, if I ever was to go through that again, that I would go through that pain. But what I will encourage you today to let you know that when you go through a situation that, you know, there's nothing, absolutely nothing too hard for God. So there's nothing that you can't overcome. So that fear is just something false in your mind that's making you think that this is going to happen. You know what I mean? And you have to feel the fear 
and know how to do it anyway. Go and move forward in that thing anyway. We cannot stop living because of fear. You know what I mean? We got to press forward and understand that if, you know, if something not so great happened as a result of what we go out and do, it's okay because we're a child of the most high. The king, he will take care of us. He will make sure we're covered. He will make sure that we are all right. We are all right. And we won't necessarily, we're not going to die because of it. You know, and we already went over the whole fear of death because I talked about and I shared today that I had a serious fear of dying. I had a fear of cancer. I had so many fears. But I started realizing that even if death came upon me, that I'm going to be in heaven and like, that's going to be so amazing. And I'm so serious. I mean, I don't want to die young. You know what I'm saying? I still want to have kids. Me and my husband will be moving and I got all these great dreams and aspirations. But, you know, it's, I know, no man know the hour. So I'm not going to live my life worrying about it. If it happens, it happens. But, you know, until that time, I'm going to live every day full out and I'm not going to live in fear. The devil's a lie. I'm not going to live in fear. So I'm going to pass the scope in a sense. Um, I guess figuratively, or maybe we could have did it literally, but, um, yeah, I think we'll just do it on here. What you want to do? You want to pass the scope? Sure. How do you do it? Okay. So trust, trust about this. We about to pass the scope. That's something I actually got from <laughs> another organization. So I'm going to pass it to her and she's going to finish this segment and talk about forgiveness. So if you're not already following trail, I'm going to encourage you that you do that. Go search. I'm going to give you, I'm we're buying time. So I'm um, going to search out trail Ravenel. And, and trail, oh, Ravenel Trail, um, R-A-V-E-N-A-L, yeah, E-L, E-L. E-L. Uh, so Ravenel Trail, T-R-E-A-L, and then she's going to talk a little bit of some of the pointers about what do you need to do t- for forgiveness and some of the things we just talked about today to wrap up our session on forgiveness. So just to kind of recap with fears before she does that, is she's going on live? Are you live yet? Okay, she's about to leave. So just to wrap up really quick with the fears is hey, all these different things can guys. impact you. Worrying, abuse, you know, rejection, abandonment, a doubt. So anyway, I'm going to hop off and I'm going to tell you pass to the torch and I'm going to invite you to her broadcast. So yes, yes. she's going to be talking about forgiveness. Forgiveness. Hey there. Hey, Rima girl. I'm so excited. I'm so 